What's up everybody, Troy Casey here on the lovely banks of the Roaring Fork River. Uh, we've got some great beers coming at you this month for June. Let's get started. First up, our collab, our first collab with Phase 3 Brewing out of uh, the northwest suburbs of Chicago. I hope that's right. Uh, we've got what came to be. This is a barrel aged imperial stout aged for almost two years with whole uh, Tahitian vanilla, raw and toasted coconut, and uh, fresh cacao. It is rich, luscious, special. Next up, we've got Ghost Note Bartlett Pear, made with pears that came to us from Montrose, uh, Colorado. Then we've got Dry Hop Apricot Undertone with Palisade Apricots. Then we've got Vanilla Velvet, which is uh, our collab with Side Project, made with Madagascar Vanilla and then Organic Palisade Apricots. And then last but not least, we've got Funky Blender Preserves Peach. This beer uh, is made with organic peaches that come to us from the banks of the Colorado River in Palisade, Colorado. Cheers. All right, EF, we've got some awesome beers for you this month. First stop is What Came To Be. This is a barrel aged, adjuncted imperial stout made with um, our friends at Phase 3 Brewing out of Lake Zurich in uh, just outside of Chicago uh, in the great state of Illinois. We did this beer, uh, kind of we let them take the lead on some of their favorite adjuncts. And so we did five pounds of Tahitian vanilla. We did a lot of both raw and toasted coconut. And then we did a massive amount of cacao. So this blend initially was four oak barrels, but by the time we were done with our process, we only ended up with a little bit over half of that. A lot of that coconut absorbed the beer. We had some losses trying to separate the beer off of the um, off, off of the adjuncts. And then also we ran it through a heat exchanger to uh, pasteurize the beer. And so it's gone through all of our quality tests and we're confident it's good to go. Um, I, we're releasing this strategically in June so that people can start, as they start to pick up their orders from the first six months of this year's membership, you can get this home, store it cold, drink it fresh, don't sell it, you're paying for the adjuncts in this one. And so let, so drink that quick um, and enjoy what we uh, were able to squeeze out of those barrels. Next up, one of my favorite beers um, uh, is the Ghost Note Bartlett Pear. So this is Ghost Note, our spelt farmhouse ale made with uh, Bartlett pears at about two pounds per gallon. It kind of came to us out of Montrose, Colorado. I've been thinking a lot uh, as I do every month about what, what some of my favorite fruits are to use in sour beers. And maybe it's just because we haven't used pears very much except for the last couple of years. But man, these pears beers, when those are cracked, those are really tasty. And I guess we should open it up, I forgot. I'm not gonna open this one because we don't have that much of it. But this one, we can definitely make that happen. I mean, it's just, it's just pear in a glass with the complexity of the base beer still super present. Gotta love the foam. Low acidity, very low acidity. The, the base beer, the body that comes to it, the sweetness from the, the pears really um, makes for a really drinkable, uh, but yet complex, uh, experience. The base beer definitely is coming through, but there's plenty of um, pear qualities that are still present. That's a good one. We don't have a bottle opener, so we can't open this one. <laughs> but we have Undertone Dry Hop Apricot. This was made with Nelson Savan Hops, dry hops with that, with um, organic uh, Palisade Apricots. And um, this one is just great. The dry hops are really well integrated into the base beer. It provides some citrus complexity to the uh, to the base beer. The undertone, again, it has plenty of characteristics that still come through, even though they're still two pounds per gallon. Um, and so this is a really good one uh, to get some of that citrus character that goes really well with the citrusy aspects of the apricots. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this one as well. Next up, we've got Vanilla Velvet. This is our collab with Side Project. This comes to us from um, 2021's harvest with Madagascar vanillas. Uh, and this is just a massive amount of vanilla, tons of apricot uh, flavor, side project complexities abound.
nice and bright. It's just been sitting upright for almost um, about a year, just over a year now. But just big vanilla in the nose still. We've just kind of, um, for no reason, we've just been sitting on this for a little bit, waiting for the right moment to, um, to release it. And here we are. Great foam stability, which is kind of surprising because of all the vanilla that we used, but that's awesome. Even with the side project culture, which tends to be a little bit more acidic, I believe, even with all the apricots, it still has medium to medium low acidity. All that vanilla that we used in this blend is really um, helping with the uh, complexity and the drinkability of, of this beer. Tons of apricot, tons of vanilla. Uh, this is a treat for sure. Last but not least, we've got Pear Funky Blender Preserves. It's been a minute since we released uh, Funky Blender uh, Preserves beer. I believe some of you can tell me, tell me if I'm wrong, but if you've watched it this far, you can tell me if I'm wrong. This is with organic Crest Haven peaches from Palisade. I mean, it's summer in a glass. There's the, like the the the, uh, the peach. I know I said it before with the different peach beers that we've released, but these these peaches are some of the first beers that we ever did. Hi, Pete. Uh, and uh, it's just summer in a glass. It just smells like a, like a when you get a, a big like a fresh box of peaches from a, either a grower or a farmer's market. Again, low acidity. All of these low acidity, intense peaches. Just taste like biting into a ripe peach. It tastes like the peach, the peach skin. This is a great beer. Um, that came to us uh, from the late season peaches from 2022. So cheers EF, thank you very much. We're almost uh, halfway through the year. So thank you so much for everything so far. We hope to see you all next month in July for our member party. Cheers.